Hi, I'm Justin with VMP Tuning. Today I'm going to show you how to install and shim the AC clutch for the VMP 8 rib kit for the supercharged 5 liter Mustang. We've got this AC compressor set up outside the car, but you can do this installation inside the car with the AC system fully pressurized. So this is just for demonstration purposes. I like to use a quarter inch impact to get the bolt out. Now the quarter inch tends to not break the bolt when you reinstall it. That's something you have to be very careful about. From there, the AC clutch face lifts right off. When you pull the AC clutch face off, you've gotta be really careful not to lose the tiny shims. There's usually one in here. And then in this case, we've still got one sitting here. Now we're gonna measure these for later reference. They measure in at 37 thousandths of an inch. Each of the VMP supplied shims is 14 thousandths of an inch thick. And the recommended factory air gap is anywhere from 11 thousandths to 23 thousandths of an inch. That's a big range. We always recommend going to the looser side of the spec, 15 to 20 thousandths. Now, the current pulley is held on by a C-clip. You're going to want to use special C-clip pliers to get it off. It has a very, very light press on it, just enough to keep it from wiggling around, but you will need a two or three jaw puller to get it off. As you can see, just a little bit of pull and it slides right off. Now you always want to make sure you take the C-clip out or you'll pull the bearing out. The VMP AC clutch is already assembled with two bearings, heavy duty, high speed bearings pressed into it. At this point, make sure everything's clean. Sit this on top, make sure it's straight, and you're gonna to wanna to carefully tap it on with a hammer or a block of wood. Make sure it goes on square as you're hammering it. This part can be a little bit tricky depending on how good your C-clip pliers are. Make sure your C-clip engages. Now, wasn't that easy? We're halfway there. We recommend using a combination of the factory shims and the VMP supplied shims. Sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll get three different shims from the factory. This clutch was a little bit tight to start with around the lower end of the spec, so we know we're gonna have to add something. Because of how big the factory shims were, I'm not gonna use them at all and I'm gonna go with three of the VMP supplied shims. These guys stack up to 46 thousandths of an inch thick. Because some of these parts are metal, they actually may actually get magnetized. You just need a little something to hold them together. So you always want a bigger air gap rather than a smaller air gap. When the magnet turns on, the clutch needs to get a running start to grab good. If you have a dial indicator, you can set it up, use it to check the wiggle back and forth. A caliper held carefully can accomplish the same thing. We feel like we've got about 15 thousandths of an inch air gap. So we're gonna put a little bit of Loctite on the bolt, drop it in, and hit it with a quarter inch cordless impact to get it torqued without breaking it. Now it's ready to go on your car.